Hello, hello, welcome back. I am playing the uh the Bogles the Bogles deck once more. Um I've made some updates. We are now running a couple copies of um Lead the Stampede to try and get some additional Creature draw. Uh, and I will keep this. And I'll put this to bottom. Done. The reason I wanted to keep this oh, was just because I wanted the extra lands. So, um, yeah. I put a couple copies of Lead the Stampede in. Um... And with that also, um, I put uh, two copies into the sideboard. Okay, so we're going, we're getting walls gross. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do early damage. Uh, but we do have a Slippery Bogle. And I can actually journey to nowhere some of his shit next turn. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, I, I took out two copies of Journey to Nowhere to put in two copies of uh, two copies of Lead the Stampede. And that will um, allow us to do some extra stuff. So uh, extra stuff. Sorry. Uh, I'm having a kid this week. Oh, we're going to get rid of that x Bane Guardian. Yeah, I haven't a kid this week, so my brain's a little all over the place, but I wanted to get some videos recorded ahead of time. Uh, let's not worry about the x Bane right now. And let's get this. And we'll put it over. Yeah, so see, now we can get our damage in due to the evasion. All right, uh, next turn then, we can journey to nowhere his Axebane Guardian to prevent him from creating too much mana. Oh, it's this version of the deck, yeah. Okay, so this version is looking to try and venture in the dungeon as much as he can. Uh, what he can't do right now. Okay, so what did he reveal? He also is running Lead the Stampede, and he's a, a spirit. Oh, it's a spirit with flying. No. Okay, yeah, we need to kill the x Bane Guardian next turn. Luckily, he can't play it. And we're going to stop him from being able to play it next turn. Oh, no. Can he play it now? He can see. It's another secret door. Okay. All right. This is going to be difficult for us because he's got some flyers now. What do we draw? Slizna Sanctuary. Uh, so let's tap two. Let's get rid of this. Oh, sh fucking god damn it. Oh, thank god. Okay, I was... The trigger happened, and I didn't select the trigger thing yet. Thank God. Oh, my God. All right. Pre-combat main phase. Uh, let's put this in. Bouncing that back. Uh, we're going to have mana loss. But we can still swing in. All right, so I think we're doing good so far. 
Uh, maybe next turn if we got a lead the stampede. Lead the stampede would be kind of nice. He has a mull drifter, but he he has to exchange for mana now. Um, and so because he has to exchange for mana, mana he can't he can't just get tons and tons and tons of mana for free. Um, I think we mutate on top of this with the Greenhorn next turn. He's going to Mull Drifter to draw some cards. Okay, he's starting to get his shit developed, which sucks. Okay, and set... Okay, the Mall Drifter is going to be a problem. And we're getting to the Land Troft. Uh, so let's tap these. Cast with Mutate here. And we'll put it under... And then let's go and grab, what do we need? It doesn't matter. We'll just grab a planes and put it in. Uh, we're going to have to just swing with this and he's just either going to let it go or he's going to block with the mole drifter. Yep. He has to buy the time. I would love to get another one of these flyers. Come on, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's transmuting the drifter, interesting. Because I'm pretty sure that's a thing with flying, yeah. So he's going to go find a three cost card. What did he find? Oh, I see what he's doing, okay. Unfortunately, I can't stop it. So what did he pair it with? He paired it with that. Does he have unlimited tap, untap? He's going to transmute for a second one. Okay. Are you playing? Okay. So this is the thing where he gets to just do whatever he wants. All right, so this is the win con here. Is he just going to get a crap ton of mana? I thought he would be venturing, though. What was that blue mana for? Oh, the blue mana to activate the untap. This is a very strong deck. <laughs> like, unfortunately, I didn't have, I wasn't able to interact with it enough. Uh, we're just going to make him go through the steps though and burn timer. Uh, let's just auto-pass. How do I auto-pass? Number eight, that's how. Auto-pass, please. I'm telling it to auto-pass, it's just not doing it. But we're gonna make him, we're gonna make him kill us. Like, I don't care. I'm going to make him click it all out. <laughs> oh, my. But, yeah, I'm having a kid this week, so my brain is all over the place. I'm recording Monday night. I'm hoping to record one or two videos tonight. Hoping to record one or two tomorrow night, so that way I can get 
Um, so that way I can get ahead of everything that's about to happen at the end of the week. Uh, we're planned up. So it's definitely happening Friday, whether whether Baby wants it or not. All right, let's begin sideboarding. What can I do? What do I have? Uh, so let's bring in the snap. Let's bring in the ram through. The blue elemental blasts. Uh, get rid of the ephemerates. And I need to get rid of two more. Uh, let's get rid of these blue birds. He's not really running instants. Um, oh, if he's not running the instants... Oh, yeah, no, everything else works fine. Yeah, I'm not putting this in. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, yes, I would like to play first, please. Uh, no starting boy. So let's mulligan again. We got the bogle. Yeah, let's keep this. And let's put this on the bottom. Done. Yep, unkeep. Let's go ahead and get Bogles out. See what we can do. Can we get everybody out? Before he builds too big of a board state. Okay, he's got a dork. And he can't do anything with the dork. Perfecto. Let's not do anything. Uh, and just begin combat. I doubt he's going to do anything with blocks. All right. I'm not playing the Sanctuary right now just because I want to get these guys out. Because I can swing these guys ahead. Um, since, since they're blocked as though... Yeah, they can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. All right, so we get the bogles, we get this. Okay, so we can't really punch through the wall now. Uh, let's float a mana. To play the sanctuary. Bounce that back. Oh, I guess I can't do the mutate, so we'll just throw this out. All right, so we got lots of creatures, which is good. We have more than last turn. And we're just punching every every chance we get. I would really like to get into some more card draw. Okay, so he's got the Tinder Wall. I forget. Sacrifice the wall, deals two damage to target creature. It's blocking, so it has to be able to block it, so... All right, you're going to tap to add two to add another growth. Do you have another tender wall? How? 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 Oh, it's just straight sacrifice tender wall. Okay, I'm I'm really tired. That's how. Okay, so we get the axe bane out here. It's going to Okay, we got a ram through. Ooh, okay. So can we do this? We can't do it this turn. Uh yeah. Cast with mutate. Next turn, we can kill one of these. We can kill the, uh, let's put it over. Let's put some blue out there. We just swing. Uh, 
we if we can get one more turn, we can at least kill the Axe Bane. Which we which can slow him down. Oh, or do we want to kill the Quirion Ranger? Okay, he's gotta lead the stampede. He still has a shit ton of mana. What cards did he reveal? Axe Bane, Secret Door. Oh man, he's got a lot. So what is what are you playing? All right, so you're playing the the rubble fort and another axe bane, which sucks for me. And you're playing the secret door, and your mana fixing. Everything now has haste. But you don't have anything yet to kill me. Although you can venture a bunch through your dungeon. Yeah, so let's dismiss all that. He's making a bunch of blue mana. To transmute, okay. What's he going to go get with the transmute? Is he going to go get his red source or his red thing? No, his tap-untap mechanic. Yep, untap target creature. He puts his planes or force back. Oh, the axe bane's going to be a good hit. Okay, so he's just going to make a load of blue mana. Yeah, I I see. You have infinite mana right now. But you still don't have a way to hit me. What's he revealing? I think I think he's got us. This is a little disappointing for me. So he's playing Mall Drifter to draw two cards. He's he's digging at this point. Were you able to get another lead the stampede? Winding way. To put more. He's looking for that red card that allows him to pay eight mana to do three damage. Yep. Yeah. There it is. He's going to need to now make red mana. Yep. And he's going to need to play it. Oh, man. Yep, and he's just going to keep on tapping and tapping. Why? Why play the Tinder Wall? You have it. Why play all these creatures? You have this. <laughs> Man, if I would have had an extra untapped land, I could have rammed through. Um, damn. All right. We're just going to concede here. Uh, this was a super fast game. Uh, he got us. He got us fair and square. Um, I'm a little sad about it, but this is a tough deck to beat because he just get they just get the mana so quickly to be able to just dig. Um, hopefully next game, uh, we're able to get a little more damage in. It, we're able to find our pieces. That's the biggest thing right now is able to find these pieces. So I'm excited to see what the next video will bring, and we'll try and figure out if we can punch through and, and win. Until next game, see you later.